Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Really appreciate that. I want to ask you too, and I know we, you know, getting ready to come to a close. I know that you shared some great information. I know it's been a blessing to all those who are listening, but I want to ask you as well. You know, you, you know, been building businesses over these many years now, right? Um, since you were so young. Uh, what, what has been that one kind of situation, a story of impact that you've had with uh, a customer or a client that really helped you to see that, you know what, I, I knew that this business and ministry was supposed to connect, but I really see now through this situation why God had me not just simply uh, be a pastor, right? Not just simply uh, just do full time ministry with no business connection. But yeah. now now I see and understand why these things uh, in many instances need to work together. Yeah, man. Um, it's, uh, you know, a thought that comes to my mind, man. Um we have just launched our uh, product in Whole Foods. So we, you know, we make our, we manufacture our better true proteins and we had just launched in Whole Foods. And I was literally, I went to Whole Foods for me that day. I wanted to see it on the shelf. You know, one thing you'll see that there's not a lot of, again, African-American minority groups is manufacturing a food product that's more on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And what I realized, in our, and especially in, especially in black communities, we, we, we lack, a lot of them, we lack hope. You know, we, we, yeah. we like you don't see good examples of people that look like you that's doing things that are positive, that's impacting the community, creating jobs. So long story short, man, I went to went to Whole Foods and I was so excited. Whole Foods does a program they call they call it a local a local a local forger. And mm -hmm. so when you're in a certain Whole Foods region, they feature a small business that's in there in that region. And I was called okay. a local forger. So they had my picture on the case where you go and buy the product, and then they had <laughs> my products in the set in the shelf. There was a young black, blonde, young black, blonde, young black male who was actually uh, he was a janitor at Whole Foods, and I was like, "Hey, bruh, bruh, you see that right there? That's me right there, bruh." And so, and uh, <laughs> I, I was I was boasting in a way, but in a positive way. I was just like, "Bruh, like." He was excited. I was excited. I was like, "Man, that, that's man, that, that 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 that's me right there, bruh." I was. He was like, he looked at me, looked at the picture, and I, I think I had, I, I think I, had, I didn't have a beard. I think one of some of my, I had different, uh, different cut. He was like, "Man, that ain't you." I was like, man, what, 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 what you talking about, bro? <laughs> man, that's me. He, he was like, man, that ain't you, brother. That ain't you, man. I said, man, I said, look, I called my business partner. I said, look, got him on FaceTime. I said, man, tell this young brother right here, man, that this is this is us on this shelf. So the brown brother was like, man, he looked at it and said, he said, man, he's like, I can't believe this, man. The boy was almost in tears, man. I was almost in tears, man. He just looked at me and said, man, here he is working in Walt and Whole Foods. Yeah. He's never seen something like this in his life. He's like, man, ain't none of these, all these problems in the show. It ain't going to be people. I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm mm. going to be an editor for the rest of my life doing these little blue collar mm. jobs. What's wrong with that? You can make a lot of money being a janitor. So I'm not putting down being a janitor. But he was mm. working as a, a regular wage job and he couldn't see more. He couldn't see that I could become something. I was a value. Yes. And yeah. so when that young brother saw that man and he realized that, man, this is actually this brother on the shelf. His man, his heart just he smiled. The smile just came out, man. And what it did for me that day, man, it helped me to realize that our life work is an inspiration to someone who doesn't see yeah. that literally. And for them, when they can when I can say that same man, look, bro, it ain't me, it's God, man. Mm. God did this. God now, when all that said and done, God got the glory. Man, God did this, bro. And he can be like, man, look, God can you can you can dream. Because yeah. God is the one that's responsible for accomplishing the dreams when you put it into his hands. Mm -hmm. And so, hey, man, that was a powerful, powerful, powerful moment that helped me to realize that what I was doing was so much bigger than me. Yeah. Everything I'm doing today is inspiring this new generation, this next generation. To let them know, man, that it's going to be not going to be easy. Yeah. But you gotta believe believe that God has given you a talent, of the gift, and you can cultivate that thing, and God's gonna explode it in His way. However big, however small, it doesn't matter. God's gonna do something with that. So that was my, for me, that ministry experience. It wasn't yeah. me preaching a sermon, wasn't giving somebody a Bible study. It was yeah. simply inspiring a young person to let mm. them know that God has given them gifts and talents, and that their dreams are possible. My life was an example to them that it's possible, man. So that right, was right. Man, yeah, man, that's that's awesome, you know. And and you have been a blessing to so many of us, right, who are watching and seeing your journey, right, to know like, okay, this thing is possible. And like you say, especially for us in you know in the African American community, you know, what I'm saying in the states who 
are always looking for to just grab hold of something or someone to show that this thing is possible. And that's why I think it's so important for us to really grab back, you know, behind us, right? To pull others up, to, to not not just pull others up in the sense of, oh, I'm going to do this thing for you, but pull us up since the, hey, I just want you to see what's possible, right? I just want you to see the opportunities that's there, right? The access that you can have. That in itself is so big that could spark something that literally can change that can change the whole world, right? And so, uh, man, I, I really appreciate you sharing that impactful story. And I know there's other people who uh, are, who are going to have an opportunity to have that moment of impact yeah. because they heard your moment of impact, it's right? Exactly, and so, new videos, new podcast episodes every Sunday at nine o'clock. You can find the full episode by clicking the card up at the top right of this video. If you prefer our audio only experience, then we want to let you know that we're streaming through every major podcast streaming platform. For the full list, you can go to www.lionandalambo.com. Until next time, go impact the world.